What's up, everybody? I'm going to do a review of the new Netflix series, AJ and the Queen. Uh, this is RuPaul's new uh, show on Netflix, and it's about... Well, spoil, spoiler alert, first of all, this is going to completely spoil... I'm going to spoil the entire season, so you might as well be ready for that. Uh, but... It's about uh, RuPaul, and he is in a relationship with this man, this grifter, which they use the word grifter at least a hundred times in the series, uh, <clears throat> and he steals all RuPaul's money, like $100,000 that he was going to open up a club with, like a gay club with, and uh, he steals the money, so RuPaul is broke, and he goes on a nationwide tour. Uh, to try to make money, just, I guess, to survive, you know, he lost all of his savings, he was broke, and while he's planning all this, this little, this little boy, who you will find out is a girl later on, uh, who is homeless, uh, ends up stealing more of RuPaul's money, like the money that he had made that night, and RuPaul, Chases the boy down and takes his money back, and you think it's over. So then RuPaul, skipping forward a little ways, RuPaul's getting ready to go on his nationwide tour, and the little kid is in the back of his RV uh, because Ru he knows that Ru is going to Texas, so he wants to go to Texas to be with his grandfather, her grandfather. Uh, and they just have like a, a wild ride along the way. I'll get into some more of the specifics, but I want to talk about a few ideas and a, a few things in the show that, um, I mean, overall, I liked it. I, I think I would give it probably like a 6 out of 10. It's not bad. Uh, it's not my type of thing, you know what I mean? I don't have anything against drag queens. I think that uh, drag queens, you know, they, they have... They know that they're men, and they just dress up for fun and to entertain people. And uh, I think that's fine. That's not. A, I don't even think that's like a sin to do a parody of the opposite gender. Uh, I am surprised that uh, the trans community is not more upset with drag queens, though, because it's kind of like a parody of their lives. That's a topic for a different day. Um... So yeah, there are, were a lot of things that surprised me, uh, a lot of things that R RuPaul says in the show, uh, and and his uh, like be best friend in the show is a blind drag queen, uh, and they both have very interesting stories and some pretty interesting insights into their own um, subculture and on uh, society at large. And, uh, you know, there's some really good quotes. Um, you know, RuPaul says at the end of the show, at, like, in the last episode, anyone can protest anything they want, you know? That's something I 100% stand for. You, I don't care what you represent. If you, I would rather you come forward and, um, like, speak your mind if you're wrong or if you're hateful. Or, you know what I'm saying? I would rather you get that out of your system and let people around you realize that that's where, the place you're coming from. So either A, people could avoid you, or B, people could try to change your mind. It does no good to have hateful uh, people uh, just pin, like storing all of that hate and letting it build up. It's not healthy. So yeah, I really like that. That was like probably one of my favorite moments in the show. <laughs> uh, just RuPaul says, you know, in America, anyone can protest anything they want. And, uh, you know, good for RuPaul. RuPaul, I realized when I was watching the show, is more old school than I really realized. There's a part in the show where um, Ru is talking to his friend Lewis, the blind guy. And um, Lewis says, like... Uh, you know, when we were kids, you, you could only be a boy or a girl. There weren't all these, um, like, 
you know, there were not so many uh, destinations on the gender spectrum. So, I mean, that's something I appreciate because it's honest and it's uh, accurate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think when you get that kind of honesty from someone uh, that's coming from a community that, you know, drag queens are on the, like, far right of the uh, gender non-conforming spe spectrum, I suppose. But, um, it's something I appreciate coming from people in that spectrum. You know what I'm saying? To say, to honestly say, you know, this non-binary shit is like, uh, it's new. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. When that, they're having that, uh, conversation about there only being, like, two choices, um, it's when Rue is talking to Lewis about finding out that AJ, the little kid, is actually a girl. Because he dresses up like a boy, it makes it easier for him to live, like, his homeless kind of, um, uh, you know, that kind of lifestyle. It makes it easier knowing it, it, you're less likely to be a, uh, or at least they would like you to think that you're less likely to be a victim of sexual violence or whatever. I think as a kid, you're probably almost, you're pretty much equally um, vulnerable to sexual violence if you are homeless. Maybe even more prone to sexual violence if you're a boy because um, people, like, I think that kind of community is more vocal than, like, I don't, I'm not even going to go there. But yeah, I wrote, a, I wrote some notes for this, uh, because I really did find the show to be very interesting. I wrote pros and cons, actually, uh, to the show. And I mean, I'll just go through here. Uh, yeah, Rue had a good, a good, uh, quote. I don't, I didn't write it down word, word for word, but he's talking about when he finds out that the little kid is actually a girl. Uh, he's, he's, like, assumes that the kid is trans, and he's like, so you want to be a boy? And the kid is like, no, I didn't say I, I want to be a boy, I said I don't want to be a girl. And Rue's like, well, I tried to paint you in a box, and I, my whole life I've been trying to get people not to paint me in a box. Even if the box I was trying to paint you in was very politically correct and, um, you know, progressive, I still painted you in a box, and I think that's very true of progressives in general, is they try to, they have this uh, filter on reality, um, as do, you know, every other position, but I think it's no different of progressives, they, they're they like really the main group that claims not to be this way, but they do paint people as, if you're a Christian, you're a bigot, if you're a this, you're that, it's that kind of... Um, they have that kind of bias, and uh, I appreciate I appreciate hearing that from RuPaul. I think if you if you are like one of these people that's like, oh my gosh, there's gonna be a show with a child and a drag queen. Uh, if that's the type of person you are, uh, give the show a, ch a a chance and try to be open minded. There are uh, some pretty, I think there are some good morals to the story. But, uh, yeah, let me keep going through these pros. Um, yeah, Catch Me, I'm Falling is <laughs> is in the soundtrack, which is a great song. Um, the, the story does mirror real gay relationship problems. I think it, it's uh, pretty common. I think grifters are pretty common in the gay community. Uh... Or, like, just really, like, destitute men who end up sleeping with homosexuals for, like, money or drugs or something. It's very common. Um, but, yeah, I think the show mirrors that problem pretty well. Uh, it also kind of 
you get a like a good insight into the like superficiality of homosexuality and i'm not saying that to sound negative about it i'm just saying it because you get a good understanding of how rue was able to um overlook the fact that this guy was a grifter and you know probably 20 years younger than him and it seemingly has money and you know just <clears throat> i think you know unless you have some kind of like serious vanity going on it's just uh it's unrealistic but i think that it's um it's a lie that a lot of people try to tell themselves anyway uh yeah lewis is hilarious uh they have really the the kid's mom in the show is a is a drug addict and they have really a uh, good talk about addiction and um <clears throat> they don't uh paint addicts as being bad people you know it, a, a common theme throughout the show is there you can't you can't paint anyone into one box everyone is at least two things so if you're a drug addict you're not just a drug addict and that's something that i think a lot of people need to hear and um and i appreciate seeing it on netflix of all platforms of all you know services streaming services netflix actually did something well and it was a show that could have been um bad it could have been very bad you know what i'm saying uh but let me keep going through these pros um there's a good quote um the little girl finds this puppy and the, or doesn't find the puppy rue buys the puppy from a homeless couple and the puppy ends up missing the homeless mom and they're obviously not very good pet owners and the little girl says he misses his mom even if she's a bad one and it kind of mirrors her situation um you know, on the way to her grandfather after leaving a homeless lifestyle in New York City, um, you know, she misses her mother, even though, you know, she's a bad one. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, there's a good part when they are it's after that quote that I was saying, anyone in America, in America anyone can prote protest anything. Um, RuPaul is talking to the protesters who are protesting outside of a drag queen contest. And um, she's talking about how uh, they're, they're chanting, uh, drag yourself to hell. And Ru says, you know, this idea of us being separated from each other is hell and i thought that's that's extremely profound uh not superficial at all it's a very deep quote and um i think there's truth to be found there if you're willing to look for it uh it's hard to get outside of this ego mentality that we have um but there's definitely, you know, I think every experience is pretty common, no matter what your social economic uh, status is, or no matter, you know, what class you're coming from, what color your skin is. I think there's a definite uh, common, um, a common quality to our experience. Everyone feels pain. Everyone feels joy. Everyone feels love. To, to varying degrees but we all have that and um i think experience shapes the personality of a person but anyway all right let's get on to the cons a uh, kid in a gay in gay clubs there's a kid in gay clubs throughout the entire film and uh that's inappropriate rupaul that's inappropriate you know um your buddy Michael Alleg uh, just got, you know, chewed up for it last year uh, for having, um, 
I always want to call that kid Everybody Hates Chris, but <laughs> but it's not. It's uh, Desmond is amazing on um, The Pew. Michael Alec had Desmond is amazing, the little drag queen child, on his uh, YouTube show, and conservative media lost their fucking minds. And well, for pretty good reason, you know, Michael Alec is a serial killer. Or not a serial killer, he's not a serial killer, but he did kill someone. And he was a drug addict. And a he used to brag about um, sexual acts with minors as a uh, New York City club promoter. Uh, you know, RuPaul's not nearly as uh, risque as Michael Alec is. Even though, I, I, I don't, risque might not be the right word. Because RuPaul does have that initial, like, wow factor. Like, that's a man in a dress. So it's kind of risque. But Michael Alec fucking killed someone. <laughs> so <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, the, another con is they glorify Oprah throughout the entire fucking show. And I cannot stand Oprah. She's just like, ugh. Ugh. Oprah is responsible for our culture valuing feelings over facts. Okay. Um, the show props up uh, children as who we should listen to about gender issues. You know, there's a, a part in the show where the little girl is talking to like a maid or something is like, uh, says something about being a drag, he's like, she's like, oh yeah, he's a drag queen, he's not trans, he just performs as a woman, he's not, uh, a woman, and, uh, then she's like, yeah, if you have any more questions, come to me, so, and no one, no one is like, no, you're a fucking child, <laughs> which is the appropriate response in that situation, <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, so they prop up children as people that we should take seriously. <laughs> uh, okay. There's a gay blind guy in the show, which I don't understand. Maybe somebody can fill me in more in the comments, but if you're blind, wouldn't you just, like, want somebody with, like, who has funny jokes, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, that's, that's how I feel, you know what I'm saying, if you're blind, go for what feels better, and we all know what feels better, uh, overuses the word grifter, I've said that, uh, Rue wants a child, which is a con, because it, um, because, A, RuPaul, if, if you're a traveling drag queen, you don't need to have a kid, I, and I, I mean that, like, I, I understand, I want kids really badly, but I'm not in a situation to have children right now, you know what I mean, I'm a fucking YouTube bigot, so, uh, AJ's name is Amber Jasmine, which I, especially, which makes my skin crawl, and makes vomit rise to the top of my throat, um, there's a lot of blatant gay stuff in front of kids, a lot of cussing in front of the kid, um, you know, blatant gay stuff in front of a kid, you're gonna get that, you know what I mean, uh, but don't take your kids to bars, not even just gay bars, don't take your kids to bars, don't take your children anywhere where people are trying to pick up strangers for blowjobs or getting drunk and you know snoking snorting coke off the bar don't don't take your kids there you know what i'm saying it's just not it's not appropriate uh yeah and lewis calls aj little bits which i find to be especially disgusting like i said i'll give it a, a six out of ten it's not a bad series I, sh I, I should have started out with a con, so it's not like I'm ending on a bad note. I really did like the, sh like the series. There are some good things to take away from it. But, you know, 
yeah, I don't agree with having kids around, uh, stuff like that, because it is confusing, it, um, it kind of opens up, a, uh, this kind of Pandora's box of, um, who am I, and, uh, you know, those are not the type of questions people should ask themselves, they should ask, um, what is good for everyone, <laughs> but I don't know, I love you guys, have a great night, peace.